بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Most respected elders and friends all the people that are listening to this program Almighty Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala tells us in the Quran Kareem gives us a prescription how we can get close to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala and how we can become Allah wala and how we can become saintly and godly people people close to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala so Allah ta'ala says kunu rabbaniyeen bima kuntum tu'allimoon al-kitab wa bima kuntum tadrusoon there are two ways for a person to become an Allah wala tu'allimoon al-kitab the knowledge that you have of the Quran, of the Hadith and of the Sharia, you impart that and for the takers, for them is to take it. In both ways there is benefit and they will empower themselves and get the closest to Almighty Allah. The commentators of the Quran, they define who a Rabbani is. Kunu Rabbaniyin. A Rabbani is that person, Allazi يُرَبِّ النَّاسْ بِسِغَارِ عِلْمَ قَبْلَ كِبَارِهِ A Rabbani is that person who teaches the people small, basic, simple things. Small, simple, basic things before teaching them other big, big uh, things and sophisticated things. Sometimes we like to engage in deep academic discussions and split hair on academic issues. Or probably somebody will ask a question, when I'm in the spaceship, I'm going to Mars or Jupiter, which direction I must face toward the Qibla? By whilst on earth read Namaz first. So don't worry about too many sophisticated academic issues. Worry about practicing on the basic issues of Deen and on Shariat. Nabi Akareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reported to have mentioned khaslatan la tastami'an fi munafiq husnu samtin wa la fiqh fi al-deen two qualities are never in a munafiq acquiring ilm al-deen it's sign of a person's ikhlas and sincerity you want to know about your deen you want to practice on your deen you want to get closer to Allah so it is a sign of your ikhlas and sincerity and that is why Nabi Akareem Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned that there are two qualities that are never in a munafiq. Good character and understanding deen. You won't find these two qualities in a munafiq. Munafiq got bad character and doesn't care about his deen. And if we really care about our deen, you ask, ask, how, how do I make wuzu? How do I make ghusl? How do I perform my salah? Try to correct yourself on all these basic issues. In fact, there's so much of fazilat and virtue in acquiring knowledge. Nabi Akareem Sallallahu Alaihi reported to have mentioned, مَنْ جَاءَهُ الْمَوْتُ وَهُوَ يَتْلَبُ الْعِلْمِ لِيُحْيَى بِهِ الْإِسْلَامِ فَبَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ النَّبِيِّينَ دَرَجَةً وَاهِدَةً فِي الْجَنَّةِ If that person who goes out and searches knowledge, acquires knowledge, then if he passes away, and he does it with the intention of teaching deen alive, then between him and the Anbiya in the Akhirat, there will be only one darjah in Jannah. And in one hadith, Nabi Abdullah ibn Abbas mentioned so much of importance. He says, Tadarusul ilm sa'a min al-layl khayrun min ihya'iha. Short moment at night, go acquire knowledge. That is better than staying awake the whole night and engaging ibadat. And I don't mean that we shouldn't engage ourselves in ibadah. We should exert ourselves, especially now in the month of Ramadan, it is a season for that. But also, put a system in place in your life 
to empower yourself and learn the, the knowledge. I normally tell my students, whilst you have to do your do basic nisab and your syllabus, and you have to do this motala and that motala, but I advise them and I advise this to everyone. Keep a book by your bedside. Kitab. And every day just read three pages. Now, three pages a day for a month you did 90. Leave aside 12 months, but in an average 1,000 pages a year you'll do. Every day you just read three, three pages. Simple. Whatever it is got to do with the biography of our Akabirin, or it could got to do with some fiqhi book. Now if you tell somebody to read 1,000 pages, who's got 1,000 pages to read? But put a system in place. And start every day, just three pages, just three pages. Imagine in one year from where to where your knowledge will be. And how you improve the quality of your deen. So it's very, very important. Acquire ilm deen. Understand the Lord, your laws of Sharia, then you'll find a different quality in your, uh, in your deen, in your namaz and everything else. Today, in very short and brief, we'll talk of simple things. I told y'all, kunu rabbanin. Rabbani, alladhi yurabbin nas bi sigari ilm. These are people, simple, simple things. Don't have to teach the big sophisticated issue of euthanasia and passive euthanasia and active euthanasia and all those sophisticated things. I teach about wuzu, wuzu, husal, namaz. That is what is our concern. That is what we are here in the dunya for. By talking about this, then we'll, we we uh, refresh our ilm and our knowledge. I myself learned. In fact, I'm in the field for the, of fatawa for almost 30 years. I don't feel ashamed to say that people ask me sometimes question of najasat and of uh, namaz and all that, I don't know the answer, I've gone research it. You just been caught, thrown off guard. The way people ask you a question, so you can't claim you know it all, you know it nothing. And we shouldn't feel ashamed of that. Subhanallah, Walailaha illa Allah, Allah akbar. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah. Walailaha illa Allah, Allah akbar.